Hi, I'm Jorge Pupo, and this is Entre Amigos, Among Friends, the show about successful Latinos. My next guest was born in Santiago de Cuba. He's my friend, Marco Rizzo. He's a concert pianist, composer, arranger, conductor, and pedagogue. His long and fruitful association with Desi Arnaz eventually led Marco to come on board the I Love Lucy show from 1952 to 1959. Thank you for coming, Michael. Such a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much. Yes. Your most current recording, Ernesto Lepona Musical Legacy, has yes. been highly regarded by all the critics. That's right. Tell me about that. Well, when there was a project very dear to my heart, uh, Mr. Lepona called me as a way from Tenerife, Spain, Isla Canarias. And he told me, he said, Marco, I don't feel very well. I, I am very near that today. He said, and I would like to before I, I do that, to, for you to record my music, my piano music. As, as you know, I play with the maestro in, in Havana, in his orchestra, and two pianos and on two. He, he was one of your first mentors. He was my first mentor in Cuba, as I. Now, Michael, what are you working on right now? Right now, I am working on an anthology of Cuban classical music. And, and it's another project very near to my heart because it's music of Cuba for the last 200 years, uh, coming from the 1800 to now, and including the music of uh, contradances of uh, Manuel Saumel, mm -hmm. Ignacio Cervantes, Ernesto Lecona. How are you going to make this dream come true? Well, to, it's a proposal. And we already have uh, work about that, my very good friend Mariano and I. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask Bacardi for their help to produce this. Of course. Yes. Marco, you went to the Army when you came to the States to study at Juilliard. Yes, I, Did you I, play the piano in the Army? Of course not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. what did you do there besides training? Well, Hey, you know, George, this is a, a story, a very funny one, you know. I went to the Army, and of course they have my record as a piano composer and all that. So the captain, when they went, uh, went to classify me, you know, in the Army, they tell me, say, okay, Private Rizzo, you are in the Army now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we don't have piano in the Army. We have cymbal and we have drums and all those things, you know. This is what you look like. <laughs> that's right, yes, that's me. There he is. 22 years old, yes, that's <laughs> right, man. And uh, anyway, this man, he didn't know what to put me, man. So I told him, he said, look, I give him an idea. I know that they don't have piano in the marching band, but I can play the cymbals. <laughs> I can't picture you playing the cymbals in the army. You see Miami, you're not playing the cymbals. So yes. once you were out of the army, your pal Desi Arnaz called you That's to right. be the arranger for the Desi Arnaz Orchestra. That's right. And what are we celebrating this year? We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Desi Arnaz Orchestra with, the, with 1947. 1997 is 50 years. years. We opened it at the Copacabana nightclub there with the Desert National Orchestra. The Copacabana. Now that's where you that's where you met Lucy. That's where I met her. That's I met. They they were married already. They married in 1940. This is it. This is here's a picture right here. That's right. Get a shot of that. That's right. Yeah. That's great. Yes. Now, how long were you working on the Isle of Lucy show? Were you there throughout the whole season? From the very beginning until the very end. How did the theme come about? I mean, I know one day Desi asked you, we need you to write something. Yes, he, he gave me that, uh, uh, he promised me, Marco, we need a theme. At the time we were traveling, doing one night with the orchestra. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, we didn't have much time because Desi wanted to produce the pilot of the Love Lucy show. Mm -hmm. So this thing is kind of a controversial thing because actually, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, Mr. Pupo, this uh, thing of I Love Lucy came is a creative collaboration of Desi Arnaz, Elliot Daniel, and myself. 
I did throw the original Lucy thing has some Cuban rhythm and melody that does not like it very much mm -hmm. and we played a lot we prior to the I Love Lucy show, you see? So to make it clear is that uh, the, when the show was there and uh, the, for the pilot, we did that with the added addition of the Cuban 16 bar, which mm -hmm. I thought I said that. In the, so in, in other words, the, that, that wonderful thing of 32 bars was has to be heard all over the world. And uh, uh, still, you have to hear. Only you can play it the way it was meant to be. Well, because I, I, I feel it that way. And another thing that I want to make clear now, this opportunity with, with you, George, is that uh, at the beginning, uh, they, they, they produced it and just played it. A straight rhythm, you know? I say, no, 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 no. This is a Cuban show, and this Mr. Land is Cuban, and I am a Cuban too. So I suggest that I'm going to change now that arrangement, the original one, mm -hmm. and make it with the Cuban with precaution. Or that the they, they, they you have, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, why weren't you ever given credit for writing the I Love Lucy theme? I mean, I've been, a I've been trying to ask you this question forever. Uh, I know that many people ask me, not only you, in many interviews. The reason is that at the time, they want to replace the Desert Nash Orchestra for a studio musician mm -hmm. of CBS. Mm -hmm. I went to see the tap man there and told him, he said, look, this is cannot be. He said, this is my orchestra. Mr. Rizzo has been my music director since I was a kid. I know this man for all my life. And he knows me, my style, and he's staying, as far as I am concerned. Otherwise, just forget about the I Love Lucy show. Hmm. And, and you were on the show, because I mean, I, I see you there all the time. I, exactly, and in many episodes, I, they give me credit. Mm -hmm. In some of the episodes, yes. the one with the trunk. When you speak, when you but, come but, in with Desi, and, with and, and Lucy's stuck and, in the and, trunk, and, 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 and Desi's going, oh, Exactly, that's <laughs> right. He said, Tam muerta loca, man, lo que te pasa, chico? You know, all the things. How was it working? How was it on the set? I mean, it was like a family, uh, George. Ethel and Fred. It was like and a family. Fred, Ethel, uh, and Desi. Yeah, it, it, it was a lot of fun. That was the first funniest year of my life. You Those wrote a few years. themes, right? It, it wasn't just that one. You wrote three or four. I, I, yeah, that's right. And they, they use it in many uh, uh, production that I did the arrangement of uh, Cuban music and, you know, South American music with Desi. We, we wrote that. that one of them is the Lucy Chacha. The Lucy Chacha. And that's How's I, that going? I record that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I see. No, 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 But uh, it was at the time that the Chacha was very popular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Lu back. Lucy told me, I know, it's coming back. The, the Cuban no, music. Why don't, you, is, why don't you do a, a reissue of, 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 those, I, of all I, those themes? I am planning to do that, yes. With, with a big sound orchestra. Yes, yes. big band. Big band. Big sound. Where are you going to be performing uh, next? Well, I do have, as uh, uh, you know, uh, a wonderful performance at the at the Carnegie Hall Recital Hall uh, with the music of Lecuona. Uh, was a sold out. Oh, wow. And try, uh, try, pri prior to that, you went to the Lincoln Center. I went to Bruno, the Bruno to, with, the, with the two pianos. That's well, I saw you at, at Carnegie Hall one time. At Carnegie Hall, that's right, yes. And that was one wonderful. I, I only regret, George, that uh, they didn't record it or they didn't make a video, you know, yeah. because it's, it's for history. You know? Marco, when I see you up there, I mean, your hands are like, your hands are like a child's hands. I mean, they, God bless these hands. I mean, they are amazing, you know. <laughs> I, I, I practice every day two or three hours because I have to keep my fingers uh, nimble, you know. Uh, so, What is it about pianists? I mean, Duke Ellington, he lived to be well into his, you know, maybe 80. to 80, close you know. to 80, about 79 he died and he passed away that side. But music is such a, a privilege. I, I, I am a very happy man. I am, my, my spirit, my mind is all music. Since I was six years old, I start music. At seven years, my father was my first teacher, I start playing piano. Wow. And from now on, what I can say. Marco, you're going to live forever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so Thank much for so coming. It's been and a please pleasure. keep playing. God bless you, hands. Thank you. Thank you.